Gladys Steel here. Welcome to the second part of Politics, Leadership and Governance. You're watching the award-winning TV station, Maisha Television Kenya. My name is Rita Kering Tobet and today in studio I'm not alone. I'm joined by an extraordinary leader from Western Kenya and specifically from Navajo constituency. I'm talking about CDF Chairperson Mr. Kennedy Barasa Ngao. Welcome to the second part of the Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we are talking about matters CDF and as we take we took a short commercial break before we ushered in the story of Navajo Member of Parliament, Honorable Emmanuel Wangwe. We are talking about the funding especially uh, for the junior secondary schools and we are waiting for a clear guideline from the national government on the way forward. We understand that parents have really been crying on matters funding especially on uh, the CBC curriculum because we understand uh, it is expensive as they say. But uh, back to NGCDF, uh, Mr. Barasa, the National Assembly Select Committee on National Government Constituency Development Fund has unveiled plans to adopt CDF model uh, similar to Canada's. Do you support the move or are we better with the current model? Because in the Canada's um, model, we find that all the money uh, released by the Treasury is used on projects. None is akuna um, baki we use all of it but in Kenya's model we'll find that if there is any money uh, remaining it goes back uh, to, to, the exchequer. to the exchequer uh, <coughs> uh, well uh, Japan uh, you see when you adopt a model from your neighbor mm -hmm. you have to work perfectly to I mean you have to improve uh, beyond what you found from your partner mm -hmm. Because they had their own reasons why they decided to have their money utilized mm -hmm. and nothing remains. Yes. Uh, here in Kenya, we have political heat every other time. We have challenges of uh, public funds. So you find, uh, you find out that at a particular time, there is uh, that hitch of uh, delayed disbursement of funds. Yeah. So if we had the delayed disbursement of funds and the policy here is every money that is uh, 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 I mean, uh, sent out of the exchequer has to be utilized, then the frameworks are not uh, in place. Mm. What do you expect? It means at a particular point we shall get a uh, uh, mismanagement of those particular funds yeah. as compared to if there's a balance and taken to exchequer and the exchequer will still re, uh, resend back the money yeah. as an addition mm -hmm. as an addition to your normal allocation yes. i don't find anything bad with that mm -hmm. because as it is taken back it's not taken back to be rerouted to different avenues. Yeah, it, it's like they're just keeping it for you. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. If that direction is going to work, mm -hmm. I 100% support the exchequer issue, mm -hmm. getting back funds mm -hmm. so that as they disperse in the new financial year, you have that additional yes. of your balance. Mm -hmm than just leaving money to roll out <laughs> without proper modalities, yes. without proper policies, uh -huh. for the sake of emptying the accounts. Yes. That might not work. Mm -hmm. well. It might lead to corruption. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's according to me as the chair. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think of that? Uh, do you support the Canada's model where all the money allocated to the constituency must be used? By the end of financial year, there is no even a shilling in the account. Or do you support the current model where in case of a balance, it is uh, returned back to the exchequer. Then as the chairperson has said, uh, when the allocation is done, you will get your extra. Mine <laughs> is to support the exchequer issue. Mm -hmm. Retaining the balances, then be added to the new disbursement All right. budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. During the start of Kenya Kwanzaa administration, uh, there were some delays in the uh, disbursement of Very funds. And uh, we remember even the MPs uh, protesting over the same. Even they, uh, they refused to attend a meeting saying that the CDA funds should be disbursed to constituencies. In, uh, current situ in that situation, what uh, do you as another hollow constituency have in place to ensure that at least some projects go on or parents are not uh, affected or do you have any plan for that or uh, in case of a late disbursement? Actually, it really affects the development program, the uh -huh. structure. 
it affects politically and it affects uh, socially. Mm -hmm. the, the, the appetite or the people's appetite for the projects is always so high, immediately you, you, you pronounce that project, mm -hmm. uh, irrespective of the disbursement. In any case, there's a delayed disbursement in Jebet. Running the program for the financial year becomes a problem because you need to crash program in implementation. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, the people might start talking negatively of the leadership. <laughs> yeah. They assume money was in mm -hmm. as they expected, but maybe the, the leadership wants to, to keep money aside for private use. Yeah. So uh, what I would say, and I would suggest to our good government, uh, they should have a framework of dispersing money within the specified time. Yes. So that actually uh, the projects run within that specified time. Mm -hmm. Like, say it's an emergency case, mm -hmm. for example. A school has come down by wind. There's no money in the account. Mm -hmm. Money will be dispersed after five months. Of what use will be that emergency money yeah. to the to the issue? Yes, it will lack value. Mm -hmm. So my, my my plea here is uh, we, we, uh, the government should work very diligently to ensure that matters disbursement of uh, public funds to very specific uh, departments mm -hmm. be done in good time. Right, and as we talk about the same uh, about the disbursement in June. 30th this year, some 200 constituencies in the country um, received, did not received, had not received their funds uh, despite the Treasury disbursing 47.2 billion shillings for all the 290 constituencies due to untimely submission of development <coughs> proposals to the funds administrators. Maybe I uh, was never hollow among those 200 oh. constituencies. This one, I must say, I'm a very lucky chair because my constituency was not ranked among those constituencies. Uh -huh. uh, we always uh, sit down with the leadership and the community mm -hmm. through public participation. We prioritize it very well. Mm -hmm. Immediately, the money comes in. The committee is proactive. Yes. The Navajolo NGCDF committee is very proactive and it tackles issues as they come. Yes. So I want to say we were not affected by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, congratulations. I saw that uh, Navajolo constituency, uh, constituency, especially the CDF, uh, has done a good work in terms of public participation. You really engage uh, the public yeah. on matters CDF, and that is a good job uh, on your side. Thank you. Uh, we are watching PLG Politics, Leadership and Governance. My name is Rida Kering Chibet, and I'm not alone in the studio today. I have Navaholo CDF Chairperson, Mr. Kennedy Ngao. And you're talking about matters funds in the constituencies. Do you understand how constituencies uh, development fund operates? Maybe you don't, and that is why we have Mr. Kennedy here in studio to uh, to put that into light and to help you understand on the same and uh, Mr. Ngao, just uh, to our viewers, maybe not from the Navajolo constituency, but they will really like to understand how these CDF work. Because I know that there are some Kenyans who are even uh, not aware there is any public participation. What will be your message to them? Mm, thank you. Uh, actually, it's within the constitution that before you start up a project and mm -hmm. the, uh, for public funds utilization, mm -hmm. you must get the views of the, the consumers. Yeah. These consumers have their right to say yes or no against the project you are giving. Them. Yeah. So as 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 a, as a constitutional requirement, we must have public participation so that the common manangi is also uh, uh, confined yes. within the decisions that are, are, are being undertaken by a different arm. Mm -hmm. So um, for every other Kenyan, public participation is very key. If you want to get out of hook of uh, being taken to court <laughs> over a certain uh, project you are putting up, involve the public, the public mm -hmm. because the funds are public. Mm -hmm. That the, the, It's from taxpayers. 
they have to understand mm -hmm. why you want to utilize that particular yeah. fund. Mm -hmm. So to me, I must say, uh, people should take the aspect of public participation positively to take them uh, away from confrontation with the law. Mm -hmm. Number two, I might not, I should not just uh, talk to Kenyans and fail to address my people of Navajo. Yeah. Like people of Navajo, when Mweshimiwa came to power and they, we had very few administrative units, he held public participation asking people if they were comfortable with the very few uh, administrative units there. People said they wanted more administrative units, but, um, uh, Madam Chebet. Mm -hmm. As we are speaking today, Mweshimiwa using uh, the views from his constituents. He has been able to create more, 20, today we are having 26 assistant chief administrative units mm -hmm. and 12 locations. Mm -hmm. What does that one mean? He has taken the services closer to the people yeah. and by the request of the people mm -hmm. themselves. Right, and because I know that most Kenyans actually don't even, uh, they, they are not aware that it is their say on the projects that are undertaken by the CDF in the constituencies and they are not involved and they don't say anything. At the end of the day, wataona tu shule na jengwa pale sawa, wameunda ofisi ya chief sawa, but they don't uh, engage in that discussion. As Navaholo Chair uh, CDF has <coughs> highlighted, it is your right as a Kenyan, as a tax taxpayer, you have a right to decide what projects are brought in uh, to your region by the CDF. So make sure that your leaders engage you in public participation. As you talk about, I know that in this discussion we've focused uh, much on matters education. Apart from education, especially in Navajo constituency, what other projects has the CDF uh, Navajo channel its funds to? Apart from matters education? Away from matters education, we've also done matters uh, provincial administration. Mm -hmm. In provincial administration, we have tackled the uh, the deputy county commissioner's uh, I mean, of, uh, office. We've bought land for him. Mm -hmm. The government brought in uh, some some money. Mm -hmm. We are constructing a complete unit for the DCC. Mm -hmm. We've also bought uh, land for SECs. We are constructing SEC offices. Yeah. Uh, same to police units. That is security. Mm -hmm. So in Navajolo, as we speak, we have uh, seven different units put in different uh, locations yes. for, uh, for our security teams. And this one has enabled the people of Navajolo now to start enjoying the harmony of, uh, of an independent state. Mm -hmm. Because uh, matters, crimes have reduced because we have now law enforcers mm -hmm. uh, 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 sparsely uh, uh, distributed in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the sub-county. Uh, besides that, uh, our area MP through the 22 are MRF funds, that is uh, doing roads. It is that section of funds that uh, are directly under every politician mm -hmm. through the parliament. Yes. So the Mubunge has also initiated a number of roads that are being done through the CARA organization. Yes. So we have the road network well uh, done in Navajolo. Mm -hmm. People are able to access uh, uh, the, the markets, the health centers, the learning institutions uh, away from the, the villages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, so those are some of the programs we are doing. And um, uh, we are also supporting exams. Mm -hmm. yeah, although the Ministry of Education recently gave uh, a directive of uh, CDF not to support exams, but mm -hmm. initially we've been supporting exams. Yeah. And that's a way, it was a way of improving examination in our region. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've really boosted, in terms of CDF, we've really boosted education and ensure that uh, children learn uh, in primary schools, we build classrooms, in secondary schools we have bursaries. But do we have any initiative to ensure that after these kids are done with these schools, there's something that they can do in those constituencies, rather than just uh, promoting brain drain where they'll have to go to other regions to look for jobs? 
Uh, Japan, it's 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 challenging in itself. Mm -hmm. You see, the the, the 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 total number of output we are having <laughs> yeah. in a given region, in a given financial year, mm -hmm. it's just overwhelming. Mm -hmm. We cannot say it it can be narrowed down to a constituency level, but this one we are appealing to the national government yes. at least to try and uh, open up avenues for these school leavers as we support them through education, paying school fees, okay. the national government should get a way of uh, maybe improving on the on the manufacturing industry yes. uh, to create jobs. Mm -hmm. They open up jobs for these school leavers. Yes. Otherwise, it can't be an aspect of a constituency per se. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's good that we are coming up with the DVET institutions. Yes. DVET institutions are hands-on. Mm -hmm. So if we, we are, like in Navaholo, we are having the Navaholo TVET. Yes. So those students from Navaholo TVET, like Mweshinu was, was sponsored 50 mm -hmm. students in, the, in, the, in that institution. Mm -hmm. When they come out and they have taken courses of hands-on, mm -hmm. we are very much assured of them getting uh, involved in practical mm -hmm. uh, activities that will earn them something. Mm -hmm. In Navaholo, we are having the Ajira, Ajira program that is um, uh, housed in the, in, a, in the CDF office. Yes. We are training those youth free of charge. Mm -hmm. They are getting certificates. The knowledge they are getting, they can still do business online mm -hmm. and they earn something. Yes. So it's a way of also taking care of the unemployment of uh, youths of Navaholo. Mweshimiwa mm -hmm. Honorable Wangwa is hands-on trying to get his students attached mm -hmm. and also finding for them avenues where those who married very well mm -hmm. and have papers that are required somewhere mm -hmm. is also into their support to ensure that they are getting uh, those employment opportunities. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding, if a student performs very well to a level of a scholarship, they are, get, they are getting scholarship outside on half, on half basis, and Mushimo is also stepping in to make sure those students are comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. As uh, you've talked about the TVETs, we have Navaholo uh, T TVC, yeah. that is in Navaholo constituency. And uh, there was a call to establish the industrial parks in the five western counties, uh, that is in Bungoma, Vihiga, Kakamega, Transoya, and uh, uh, Bungoma, uh, Busia. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I would like your view on the same. Uh, is Navaholo or is Kakamega? also in that plan to start the the building of the industrial park at least to accommodate the students because you really <coughs> you've really initiated the, 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 the you've made progress in matter supporting education um although i'm not privy on matters the county governance yes because what you've talked is a framework of the developed system <laughs> yes the industrial park. Mm -hmm. That one sh is not from the national government. I'm very much sure. Half, half. The national government uh, will channel in half uh, of the funds and then the county government. That would be a very good idea mm -hmm. if uh, it is conceived and implemented at mm -hmm. the same time. Yes. Because it will capture the, 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 the issues of our own. Mm -hmm. And even if we get people from outside, they're only coming to add up the numbers and improve uh, the thoughts, the minds of the implementers of that project. Yes. So uh, I would wish that the leaders, the leadership in the, the, the larger Western, yes. should come up and uh, and prioritize that uh, kind of uh, model, mm -hmm. so that we can have an industrial park, yes. irrespective of where it will be put, mm -hmm. as long as it's going to serve the Western region. Yes, uh, the plan is in progress for the construction of industrial yeah. parks in the uh, western counties. In yeah. Bungoma County, I think the, brown, the groundbreaking ceremony already happened at Sangalo Institute. Yeah. Uh, that is in Bungoma County. We're waiting to see what Kakamega County will do, uh, what Busia County will do, Vihiga and Transoya counties. Because we have a number of <coughs> technical institutions in True. Western Kenyans, it's very large. Mm. But at the end of the day, once they acquire skills, the skills are taken in other regions. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yes. It's like we only bake, for, we bake bread for other people. Yes. So we we don't enjoy it ourselves, mm -hmm. but that 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 said and done, mm. uh, it's going to improve our economic uh, aspect mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, 
in terms of revenue collection and all that. Yes, uh, in early February this year, there was a push and pull between the senators and the members of county assembly, uh, or members of parliament on NGCDF funds uh, oversight, where the senators were suggesting that the, <coughs> the, the CDF funds should be run by the governors or county governments under the word fund. <laughs> what is your statement on that? I totally want to disagree with that. Mm -hmm. And I disagreed it with it right from then. Mm -hmm. Because these governors, when they get their share from the national government, yeah. they have got their water development fund yes. incorporated in the money they get. The activities they are doing are completely different from the activities the national CDF is doing yes. uh, uh, in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. So if we heaped everything to the county government, then it's like you are taking, you are, you are giving your child too much than the child can, <laughs> yeah, can chew, yes. yeah, can consume. So here, let us have that a clear cut so that the, the, the split, the split activities, the split ob uh, obligations can give a range of easier monitoring and evaluation and implementation mm -hmm. uh, matrix. Yes. Yeah. So as we wind up this discussion, I know that corruption, we've talked about that uh, at the beginning of this show, corruption is one of the biggest challenge, especially in the management of public funds. What measures has Navajo constituency CDF office put in place to ensure that no single cent is misused? Thank you. <coughs> corruption itself, uh, it survives. Mm -hmm. We live with it. But as Navajolo, uh, we can't say we are perfect, but we are trying. One, corruption can only be uh, can, can only be visualized, can, can be seen when procedures are not in place. Mm -hmm. But for us, as before we undertake any project, we must follow due diligence for procedures. Involve all the line ministries to, to paperwork. Mm -hmm proper advertisement. We are for continuous monitoring and evaluation. Yeah. Uh, we have the so-called social audit from the people themselves. When people identify an issue that is coming up, mm -hmm. definitely they will raise an alarm and action will be taken. Yes. Number two, uh, we are closely monitored by auditors. Auditors come in every other time and we avail all the records. Mm -hmm. So that one, at the end of the exercise, actually we are able to identify where we had mishaps and where we did well, mm -hmm. so that at the end of the day, we are able to correct. Uh, number three, we do our things by minutes of the committee. The authority has to come from the committee, a collective responsibility, mm -hmm. so that we don't have that uh, element of something being done uh, outside the framework of the committee members. Yes. You know, they are the managers of these funds. They mm -hmm. have to give authority or they don't give authority. Mm -hmm. Where authority has not been given, uh, Jebet, believe you me not, you try to do it, you will stand alone as a corrupt officer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> An element of maybe work not done very well, mm -hmm. we involve the expatriates, uh, the, 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 the professionals, mm -hmm. and we hold responsible the person who was given a contract that was not done well <laughs> as a punishment. Mm -hmm. You redo it at your own cost. <laughs> yes. That one has met us at least. Uh, we are not in issues of audit and in bad books. Mm -hmm. yeah. The contractor has to do a better job because he understands that he or she understands that if she does a shoddy job, back yes, to scale. <laughs> Before payments are being done, mm -hmm. we must have site meetings where the project is being undertaken. Mm -hmm. So that at the end of the day, the decision of the committee members, the project management committee members. You see, it's now not the CDF managing. Yes. It's the project management committee that is composed of people from the community yes. and the consumer institutions. Mm -hmm. So that should anything go wrong, that element of PMC is legally bound in court mm -hmm. to make 
answers to certain areas. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the issues we use mm -hmm. to take care of corrupt matters. All right. Yeah. And um, as we wind up this discussion, thank you actually for uh, being here choosing to stay with us you're watching plg and today we're talking about matters uh, public funds and uh, navaholo cdf chairs highlighted well how they are managing matters corruption in their office as cdf navaholo constituency which i know i i think it is the best move and as we wind up uh Bona chair just a word to navaholo uh, residents okay <clears throat> this is from the chair to the Navaholo residents. Uh, people of Navaholo, getting leadership is not an easy thing. And if you have a good leader and that good leader leaves you before you have achieved your agendas, it, mm -hmm. takes, it takes time again to get a leader that will uh, reflect the leader that has gone. Yeah. So I want to urge the people of Navaholo, right from the time we got Honorable Imango as our MP, we've moved some milestones. Uh, my plea, not that because I'm the CDF chair, but on focus of the development we have seen in the area, mm -hmm. we should embrace this uh, political leader. We give him more terms because what he has for the people of Navaholo is positively in the minds of the people themselves. Mm -hmm. We shun away from petty politics and give him moral support. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would also wish to, 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 to request uh, my area MP to keep on engaging with his constituents the way he's engaging with them. Matters funeral is there, matters uh, harambes is there, matters uh, infrastructure, public is there. So this is a leader that has Navaholo at heart. And I want to call upon my people of Navaholo, we give this leader uh, more time so that we can gain from his leadership skills. Three terms is not an easy, it's not a short period of time. <laughs> yeah. He has gained enough of experience mm -hmm. and he knows where to go and knock and get what he wants. Mm -hmm. So this is a leader we can bank on and get the, what we've lacked for so many years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Asante Sana, thank you so much uh, for that and thank you for making time to be here and educating our public on how CDF operates. Thank you to you, our viewer, for choosing to stay here on Maisha TV. And uh, thank you for choosing PLG, Politics, Leadership and Governance. My name is Rita Kering Chibet, and today my guest was uh, Mr. Kennedy Barasangao, NGCDF Chair, Navaholo Constituency. We've come to the end of this discussion, but keep the conversation going, keep the questions coming. We'll forward them to the chair. Uh, Navaholo and uh, he will answer each and every one of you on matters CDF in Navaholo constituency. Much appreciation. See you next time.